Hello everybody. Today I want to go over some very important Zoom tools that will help you out during your Zoom sessions. The first two tools are going to help us with our mic and our camera. Now they're located on the bottom left of the screen. The first tool, the mic tool, allows us to turn our mic on or off. We can see if our mic is on or off by noticing if there's a slash across it or not. As you can see, my mic does not have a slash across it. That means that I am broadcasting my voice, meaning other people can hear what I'm saying in the Zoom meeting. To the right, we have a picture of a camera, and you can see that one has a slash across it. That means that my video is turned off and people cannot see what I am doing. Now, you, they can still hear me because my mic is on, okay, so, but they cannot see uh, my camera here. If I want to turn it on or off, all I have to do is click on that picture and you see it goes from off to on. And now you, you're seeing my camera on the right side of the screen here. If I want to turn it back off, all I have to do is click it one more time and my camera has been turned off. I can do the same thing with the mic. Leave it on or click it once and that will turn it off. Now we're going to move over to the right a little bit and we're going to find the participants tool. This tool has a list of all of the people in the meeting. It also has a very handy feature called the raise hand tool. Now when we click on this, a blue hand shows up on the top uh, right next to my name. This will alert the teacher and let them know that I either have a question or have something to share. So your teacher might ask you to press this tool and use this tool before unmuting yourself and talking in the middle of the session. If you are done asking your question, uh, you can click here one more time and the hand will go away. Now, right next to participants, we have chat. When I click on chat, I get a second section on the right side. Okay, and here I can type up a message uh, to send it to everybody or to send it to just my teacher. Okay, if I have a question or if I'm answering a question, I can use the chat uh, tool instead of unmuting myself. Okay, so make sure you utilize this tool as well. Now, sometimes when you open up Zoom, you're, you open in something called a full screen. And what that looks like is here, let me show you by clicking on this button here, enter full screen. And Zoom takes up the entire screen. We can't use any other program. It's blocking everything else. Even our participants in chat have moved. And if I, I, uh, I know I'm on full screen because if I click on participants, instead of it being on the right side, I get a window. Okay, and this happens also with chat. Okay, so if you see windows instead of uh, participants and chat being on the right side, you know that you're on full screen. To exit full screen, we're going to go up to the top where it says view options and then click exit full screen. I'm going to click that and now you see that my participants and my chat are both on the right side just like I want them to be. Okay. That's it for today. Thank you for joining and have a good day.